This is Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's study. General George Washington used the same space for meetings at dinners, but this photograph shows the room as Longfellow used it, and as his family preserved it after his death in 1882. The National Park Service cares for this study, the workspace of America's most popular poet in the 19th century. But over time, artifacts and furnishings inevitably suffer damage and deterioration. Longfellow's portable writing case, for instance, had broken into two pieces, with its contents corroding. With the promise of support from the friends of Longfellow House, Washington's headquarters, conservators for the National Park Service restored the writing case and all the items that came with it, including the key that they found lost inside the lining. We count that as a success. Longfellow's writing case is now back on display in his study, helping to show visitors how he worked. Now the Friends of Longfellow House Washington's headquarters is raising money to conserve other parts of Longfellow's study so that the space will look just as good as when he worked there. For example, the cornices over the windows were originally gilded, so they glistened and reflected light back into the room. Now, with most of the gilt flaked off, they make the study look darker than it was meant to. There are visible holes in some of the curtains. The fabric on the window seats is faded. In fact, as soon as visitors enter the study, they can see the faded cushions in the fraying fabric of the curtain tiebacks. Other artifacts from Longfellow's study also need care, like this inkwell passed down from one author to another in the 1800s, only to be broken about a hundred years ago. This study is a key spot in every tour of Longfellow House, Washington's headquarters, because it was a vital location in America's literary flowering. At this stand-up desk, Longfellow wrote such iconic American poems as Paul Revere's Ride, The Song of Hiawatha, The Village Blacksmith, and The Courtship of Miles Standish. In this study, he met with literary colleagues like Ralph Waldo Emerson and Nathaniel Hawthorne, whose portraits he hung on the wall. Here, Longfellow also met with his best friend, Senator Charles Sumner, and discussed the great political causes of the day, abolition and civil rights. This study is also a family space, where Longfellow's wife and children could find him napping in his chair in front of the fireplace when he was supposed to be working. The Friends of Longfellow House, Washington's headquarters, wants to make Longfellow's study look as handsome and as accurate as possible, equal to its importance in American culture. Working with the National Park Service, we know how much money we need to raise to achieve that goal. We see milestone anniversaries coming up, including the 50th anniversary of the Longfellow family mansion becoming part of the National Park Service, and thus the property of all Americans. We hope you'll join us in raising funds for this conservation project, so that when it's safe for the house to welcome visitors again, Longfellow's study will be on its way to looking like it should. Thank you.